Um, you would go to Wisconsin or Indiana for the first three weeks of training. Um, and then if you're out of state, we do provide hotel, breakfast, and lunch. We just ask that you'll be responsible for transportation and then weekend and evening meals. Okay. So you guys don't have a weekend class, you know, because I, I do work, but you, you guys don't have a weekend class? We don't, because with us, we're a trucking company that has their own program. And with that, it's the get paid to get your CDL. So we hire you on as an employee day one of training. Oh. So basically, the training program is like on the job training. Oh. Welcome to the Recruiter Call channel where we make the call for you. And in today's segment, we're going to be looking at trucking companies that offers CDL training. That means if you don't have your CDLs, these companies will help you get them while at the same time give you a job after you get them. Let's see which companies that offer these CDL training programs are good with you. First up, we're going to be looking at rail transportation. I, I was interested in finding out a little bit more about the Get Your CDL program, you know, so that I can get my CDL. Okay. Uh, can you... Uh, did you have... Go ahead. Oh, no, I... No, you, you was about to say something. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's okay. I was just going to ask if you had any specific questions on the program or if you're uh, like how to get started. Uh, yeah. Um, well, give me an idea on, on what I need to get started. Um, all you really need to do to get started is to fill out a completed application with us. Um, and you can find that right at our website, Drops, And then also uh, to make sure you have your commercial learner's permit. Okay, so I would have to get my I would have to get my learner's permit from the state where I'm at, right? Correct. Do you do I have to pay for that or do you guys pay for that? Uh that would be on you because you need that before you can um come to training. Okay, okay. Uh so what 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 it all entails? Like would I have to now would I have to go to a school? That's near me. If I'm like out of Ohio or something like that, would I have to come up to Wisconsin? Where, where would you guys send me for school, and how long would I have to be out for? Um, you would go to Wisconsin or Indiana for the first three weeks of training, um, and then if you're out of state, we do provide hotel, breakfast, and lunch. We just ask that you'll be responsible for transportation and then weekend and evening meals. Okay, so you guys don't have a weekend class you know because i i do work but you you guys don't have a weekend class we don't because with us we're a trucking company that has their own program and with that it's the get paid to get your cdl so we hire you on as an employee day one of training oh so basically the training program is like on the job training oh okay so i will get paid uh, to get my CD. Oh, but what? Okay. Uh, okay. I'm confused because I, well, this is something different because I asked another company and they say they don't pay, but I have to sign like a contract or something like that. Did, did, is, is this the same That's thing? like with us. Oh. Yep. Cause with our program, we will hire you on. So we are covering costs of the program and you are getting paid just like any other employee. But uh, since we cover costs, there will be a, like a contract in return. All we ask is that you stay and drive 120,000 solo miles. And it typically takes about 15 months to complete, but it does depend on the person. Okay, awesome. Awesome. So all I got to do is stay with you guys for a year and a half. And you guys, well, let me ask you this. How is the, so is the payments coming out of my paycheck Every week or no, we don't. or no? Nope, we don't take money out. Oh, okay. Okay, so if I complete the whole shebang, I don't have to worry about coming out of my pocket of paying you guys back. Plus, I will Correct. get I, I will get a weekly paycheck. Uh, uh I mean I will get a weekly paycheck. Okay. Um, well let me ask you this. Um 
What about uh, like after I get finished with the schooling and everything, and I got to test out? Uh, and I'm testing out in the man. Do you guys got manuals that I can test out in, or would it be automatic? Because like if it's if it's automatic, then I then that means I would get restricted, and that means I would probably have a restriction on my license, right? Uh, yes, most likely, but all we have is automatic. Uh, the whole industry has been switching over, so we've switched over to just automatic. Oh, okay. Now, if I if if I want to test out in the manual, can I can I do that? Uh, not through us, because oh. we wouldn't have any available. Oh, okay, okay. And you said I would get paid every week uh, through you guys. Uh, what if? Okay, let's. What would happen if, well, let me get my thoughts together. What, um, what if I can't pass? Would I still get paid or would I still get an opportunity to, to, you know, to practice some more so that I, so that I can pass to get my CDL? Like, do I get like, how, how many chances do I get? If that makes uh, sense. That depends on your trainer. Um, your trainer will decide if they will give you another chance to test again or not. Um, and then if you can't complete, if you don't complete like the program uh, for whatever, then you still would have to pay us back the amount. Oh, wait, would, would I have to give you guys the money that I get paid every week too? I had to give that back also? You would just have to pay us back because as long as you complete the program and the commitment, you don't owe us anything. Uh, but if you break that commitment or contract, you would have to pay us back and it would come out to about 7,000 you'd owe back since we pretty much cover costs of the whole program. Now, I, uh, one of my friends say that if I don't pay that back, would I still, would you guys take my license from me or would I get blacklisted or anything like that? Um, that I'm not quite for sure. I think you would still ha keep the license. You just have to pay us back. Oh, okay. So do I gotta pay? Do do I gotta pay you guys back directly, or is it through a a fine? Well, that's the question that I should ask in the first place. So do I have to sign like a a financial agreement with you guys beforehand? Oh, uh, what do you mean? Uh, like you know, like uh uh, if I like like you said, if I don't pay you back, or if I don't finish. I would have to pay you back. Like, would I have to pay you back directly? How How is it guaranteed for you guys to get the money out of me if I decide to? So you, would, you would go through or set up, like, a plan or something um, if it were to come down to that point. Oh, okay. So it is like a financial agreement. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? This is a lot. This, this is a lot. Thank you. Um, This sounds a lot better because everybody else that I call, they don't – they 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 don't get they they don't pay me <laughs> and I'm working <laughs> so uh, I will put this in consideration. Um, I will have to go on the website if I'm if if I'm going to go full force with it. I'm going to have to go on the website, fill out the questionnaire and all like that, and and you guys will get back to me, right? Correct. We would reach out to you within about two to days. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Well. Thank you for the time. Thank you for the information. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. You have a good rest of your day. Awesome. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. CDL driver training with rail transportation. They will send you out to Wisconsin or Indiana, whichever first. They will send you there so you can be out for at least three weeks to go through their accelerated driver training CDL program. The good thing with this is, is that you get paid while you're being trained. While you're being trained, you will get paid. And if you don't, for whatever reason, complete the obligation that they have set for you, you will have to pay that back. 
And it would come to about, she said about $7,000. So rail is on the list. Let's see who else we can get on the list for CDL training. Get your CDLs through a trucking company. Let's see which one is right for you. Who's next?